Hi everyone, welcome back to the Meadow Florals. And today I just wanted to make an impromptu video. I have some roses from an old arrangement in my place. And I just wanted to sit down, take the petals off, and maybe I could do something with them, but mm, I'm trying to see what they smell like. Hmm, they smell okay, but not... Hmm, that actually smells okay. Hmm. The yellow ones, I'm not sure if I'll use. It dried really nicely into a really beautiful color. I'll have to break them. I'm working with one hand because I'm holding the mic. This one I probably wouldn't use. I'm trying to find... Oh, it feels so strange. I'll have to organize which one I like. But what could I do with these petals? <gasps> oh, I know. <clears throat> See, I recently watched a video um, on making rose petals. Uh, drying rose petals, not making them. And I think I know what I'll do, but I definitely can't use any of these for type of skin care or hair care because they're just kind of already turned so much. But I can try and make something. Oh, maybe not that. I have to take the ones that have gone really bad out. I love rose petals when they're dry. And for this one, I won't use it. I, I kind of forgot what, it, what it's called, actually. Some type of protea, I think. It's really cool. So, I'll try to get my rose petals together. Mm -hmm. And we'll see if I can dry them, like in the video. The video I watched, she actually dried her rose petals in the microwave. So, that would be an easy way and quick for me to do it. I watched another video where... She dried her rose petals in the oven. So that's another cool way. But it's just like when you have your flowers, you just don't want to throw them away. <sighs> you just can't part with them. Especially when it's hot pink roses. I think maybe hot pink and red are my favorite colors of the rose. And red is just amazing because when you look at the petals they literally look like velvet so I just love that about red roses and what I love about these pink roses at m where I work we call them um pink Floyd that's what they're named but these I didn't get them at a store I actually got them um from my work a different job that I took, a freelance job, which I'm going to talk about in another video. And they were so kind, they let me take some flowers. Let me hold it down with my foot. Um, they had so many leftover flowers from other events, so they said, yeah, of course, take the flowers, take them home, because, you know, it, it's just kind of hard to use everything. Um, when you work in the flower business, there's a lot of waste, so 
I'm so happy they let me take some home. Um, also, not just roses and these amazing flowers here. They also let me take some orchids, which are in my bedroom on my vanity. They look great, so pretty. They're kind of dropping as they dry out and die, but still so pretty. I'm going to keep them there a little while longer. And I'll probably dry some orchids too, but I'm no orchid expert yet. So, I'm just going to peel these off. Let me put my mic here. There you go. And I think I can dry them, put some essential oils with them. I have to see what kind I have anyway. Maybe I'll just make like a nice poopery, potpourri. Oh, they're just beautiful. <sighs> the yellow ones dried really well. I don't know if you guys noticed, but certain yellow roses never open. They just you know they just stay in that rose shape once they grow they stay just like that but i like the way that they dry and um yeah i love the hot pink roses that just open and open and open so that's beautiful And I think that'll be my last rose that I take petals from. Should I dry them in the microwave or the oven? Probably. I'll do microwave. It's easier. I was just thinking if I do them in the oven, I could use a bigger tray, but... Okay. So now I've got them. And I'm going to try to follow what the video, the girl that I, I watched her video, I'm going to follow what she did. And she laid them on napkins. I probably pulled out too many. But I'm going to do her method on napkins in the microwave. Also, there is a reader that I watch. A tarot reader. Uh, I'm trying to remember her name. I can't remember right now, but... She does rose petal readings, and they're just amazing. They're so relaxing. I'm definitely going to put the name there, but... Uh, I love it. Yeah, I'm going to make potpourri, potpourri. <laughs> so amazing. Okay, I guess I'll show you the drying process. Let's see. Since what I have is this lavender oil, I usually spray it, but I've got enough in there to pour some. Then I got this 
eucalyptus. I'm going to use the eucalyptus because it's very strong. You know, it's the strongest thing I have, so I'm going to use it. And then I have this Prada candy perfume. I'm going to put some perfume in there. And I, have, of course, got some lavender laying around, so I'm going to put that in there. Right here, let's see. Can you see it? Okay, so got Baker's twine. An envelope that I'm gonna use for paper to make the tag and my stamp kit. And I'm also gonna need a pen. So first I'm just gonna outline this. Here's the final outcome. Our impromptu rose lavender potpourri. potpourri. I'm trying to show the tag. So 
so cute. Hi everyone, it's a few days later, so I just wanted to update you about the result and the scent of the potpourri. <laughs> it smells absolutely terrible. I don't think it was the rose petals, but it was definitely the eucalyptus with the lavender and the perfume it just wasn't the right combination so i'll definitely have to remake this another time in the future but it was fun to do you know but next time will be better and i'll definitely plan the scents out more in depth but thank you for being here thank you for watching and I'll see you on my very next video. Thanks, bye.